Hello, hello, I'm Joe, and welcome to the video. I've mentioned before on this channel that I'm taking AP Art, and I have also mentioned that I've been struggling a lot, like a lot in that class. If you don't know how the AP Art class is structured, it's not like a normal art class where your teacher will like give you assignments of different mediums and different things to learn. Well, some may be like that, but my teacher doesn't do it that way. But basically the way it's structured is that by the end of the year, you have to have 15 photo worthy pieces of art. These can be finished pieces, progress photos. I don't know what the third could be. Um, explorations, I guess, of different mediums, but all 15 photos have to correlate around one central theme, or what the advanced placement program likes to call a sustained investigation. It's stupid. I also haven't been able to come up with a really good theme, so that's what we're gonna work on today. Also, look, my little, my little cat supporting me. Oh yeah, less than two months. I forgot to mention. <laughs> The AP portfolio is due May 5th, and let, let's see what day it is right now. Ignore if my iPad screen is crusty, but it's currently March 21st, which means I have less than two months to do this. I'm doing great. Also, isn't my home screen so cute? It's adorable. I kind of just want to like flip through my sketchbook a little bit, even though some of y'all have already seen <laughs> what I'm gonna show, but it doesn't matter. The other day, my art teacher sat me and the rest of my classmates down to just kind of see where we were at in our progress for this portfolio. And he actually gave me really good advice. I let him look through my sketchbook and I let him like critique and just talk about things. And he just kind of went, this is all wonderful and you can use all of it. Like if you just put a certain spin on it. And I hadn't really thought about it that way because every single AP art piece that I've seen so far has been like beautifully, wonderfully, masterfully crafted. And I'm just over here drawing, 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 drawing these people. And they're cute, but they don't really have any meaning behind them. And so I told him that I was like, well, I'm proud of the art that I'm currently making, but I don't really see the point in it. And I think that's kind of what AP wants to see. And he said, yes, but, you don't really have to give your art like a deep, well thought out definition to give it meaning. And that kind of changed my whole perspective of this entire thing. Like that helped a lot, he helped a lot. So I took what he said to heart and I thought about what a theme for my portfolio could be. And so the theme that I have decided on is, I'll write it down on this piece of paper. So that's my theme. My theme is going to be what does happiness in a mundane life look like? I came to the conclusion that if thinking about the meaning of my art is my weak point, then I just won't think and I'll draw things that make me happy. That's what I explored with this page. That's what this was. When you, when you saw it in the last video, this was an exploration of that. For all of these, I went on Pinterest and I found some photos that I just looked cute or cool or just had pretty lighting. You know, just, just photos I liked. And I got out my colored pencils. I also used this exact pen and I just drew. I had fun with the colors. And so I think for my first AP art piece, I'm going to use this as a progress photo. And then I'm going to make a full piece with this style. I'm actually gonna leave this here because I, I want it as a little reminder I do really want pho right now though. Pho is so good. Actually, I've thought about it and I want one of my pieces to be of me eating pho because it'll make me happy and I live in a mundane life. So, you know. So I'm gonna ignore the blank space on this page and I'm just gonna continue on to this one for this exploration because it's also gonna be a colorful page or at least I'm planning on it being one means I gotta put something there so it doesn't like smear. Now I'm going to open Pinterest and I'm gonna, gonna research a little bit. I'm 
tilting the screen a little bit because if I don't, you can very clearly see my face. So I looked up a lot of different things, a lot of things that make me happy, um, and so I think I have a good idea of what I want to do now. I have quite a few ideas that I could go with, and yeah, I'm pretty happy with this board. So I think the first piece that I'm going to work on is going to be of someone, maybe it'll be me, I don't, I don't know who it'll be, but someone taking like a bubble bath, and, and it'll be like in a really cute, colorful bathroom. I just think that that sort of idea would complement this 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 style so I think that's gonna be the first piece I make and then I already said I want to make a piece with pho so I just saved some images of pho in here because lord I'm I'm hungry so let's go ahead and go back to my sketchbook and get started as I'm filming this it is the next day it is no longer March 21st in fact it is the 22nd so I worked on this a bit in school. Here's a little video kind of proving it. Well, I mean, it's not really proving anything. It's just kind of me recording my sketchbook in school because I couldn't really record myself working on it. They're pretty strict about phones <laughs> being out. But anyways, I have my sketchbook now, so I'm just going to flip to the page and then I'm going to give you all an explanation of all the things that I did in it. So as you can see, I filled up the page all off camera, which I apologize about. So, as you can see, all of the light coloring styles for this were inspired by the previous page. And I talked about <laughs> two of my pieces wanting to do one of a girl taking a bubble bath and then me eating pho. So that's me eating pho. Uh, that's someone taking a bubble bath. And then I came up with some other ideas that were just kind of comfortable and kind of fun. Like I said in my last video, I like fashion, I like dressing up. So I think I'm going to do a piece where it's just like me and some outfits that I have. and. I think I'm going to do that digitally just because it seems like it would be easiest to do it that way. And then this one is going to be of me laying in a bed surrounded by like manga, video games, stuffed animals, just it's, it's called comfy because it's going to have a very comfortable feel to it. And then these two were just some more doodles that I, I don't know if I'll go with, but we have someone cutting strawberries and then we have two people at an aquarium. And this thumbnail sketch made me realize I want to do more pieces with people together. Um, and less than just me alone. I think finding joy in being alone is good, but my theme isn't really about that specifically, and so I think having a variety would kind of make my theme a bit more clear. And then these two doodles, I wrote, get out of my workspace, please, because my... <laughs> so our desks are right next to each other, right? I sit here and they sit here. And they are always like working on this side of their desk, meaning their elbow is like on my side or their like supplies will get on my desk. And it, it drives me nuts. So I end up moving all of my stuff to like this side of the desk just to counteract it. And I'm not confrontational. So it's not like I tell them just like, hey, can you like move a little bit? I did one time and I felt bad about it. So yeah, that's, that's what that was for. And then that was me deciding which one to start with, but we're gonna start with that one. So now the only two things that I need to do in preparation for this piece is I need one, to find a piece of paper to do it on, and two, I need to take reference photos. I'm still unsure if I'm gonna use myself as like a model for every single one of these projects. I think it would be easiest to do that. I might just go with what's easiest at this point. So now we're gonna go hunt for paper. First, I gotta give my, my buddy boy a little scratch. Hey, your buddy boy. Sketch, what can you use that? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not even gonna look through that. I think I'm gonna continue the rest of the search on my own. So, yeah. <laughs> just, just give me a minute. Okay, so I've come up with a kind of easy solution to my problem, and I think that my solution would just be tearing out a piece of this sketchbook and doing the piece on that. Because I don't really want this piece to be a part of my sketchbook. Wait, I mean, I guess it could be. Actually, maybe. <laughs> that, that would make things a lot easier. Okay, so simple solution found. I think I'm just gonna do it on this page. That'll make things so much easier. I literally just explained why. I don't really want to record the process of me taking the reference photos because it's going to be showing my lovely dovely face and I'm not really comfortable showing that quite yet. 
So I'm gonna go do that off camera and then I'll put together a whole mood board slash reference photo thing and procreate and then I'll get started on this bad boy because I finally need to. Okay, so I'm back from taking my reference photos. So I have my reference photo pulled up in front of me. I'm <laughs> I'm not gonna show it though. However, I will show y'all some stuff that I did off camera. Again, apologies. So here it is. I don't know how to feel about the sketch. Like, I think it's okay. But some of the like logical things about it just don't make sense to me. Like, why would there be a window right here in the shower? Because that just seems, I don't know, that's, I don't want to say hazardous, it just seems stupid. Also for this, I'm not trying for it to look like completely accurate um, perspective-wise. I don't really care about that if I'm gonna be honest. But yeah, I think the overall idea is cute and so uh, what I want to do on camera now is I want to finish the sketch and then I want to line it. But I'm unsure as to if I want to line it with this, like I did the rest of my sketches, or if I want to use colored pencils, because I feel like both of them would be reasonable. But I, I, I don't know, we'll, we'll just wait and see, I guess. Also, I think I'm gonna try to talk while I draw, because like the audio quality for my voiceovers, are, it, it's so bad. Because I don't know how to actually properly record my voice on my phone. So I end up just like taking a video of me speaking and then I extract the audio from it. It sounds so bad. I really need to tilt this up to do the roller things that I need to do. I feel like I'm treating this as homework and that's because that's literally what it feels like right now and I don't want to do it. I'm too tired to do this stupid, super detailed drawing right now. I think I'll start off by like fixing the perspective right here. Or should I move the window up? No, then that means I would have to draw more tiles, so I'm just gonna keep it like this. Also, I just realized it's still tilted. I'm so sorry. Okay, so I think to counteract the uh, perspective issues, I just have to do this. Yeah, yeah, I think I think that looks better. Should there be trees or just clouds? Because I kind of want it to have like a beachy sort of feel. Well, I want the window to have a beachy sort of feel, not really the rest of the piece, I guess. Oh, that's that's kind of comfy. That's that's comfy feeling. I like it. Should I draw like the the sun? Or is, nah, nah, I don't like that as much. This toilet doesn't look accurate, I don't- I don't care, it's a toilet. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do, instead of painstakingly drawing every single square, I'm gonna freehand it. And then I can go back over it with this if I want. I think I'm gonna do that because that makes things a lot easier for me. Because the one thing that I have not been looking forward to about this sketch is doing all those stupid little details. Dang. The Lord, you are leaving my presence. Also, a reason I decided to draw a girl taking a bubble bath as one of my pieces is because when I get stressed, I take bubble baths. Like literally any time I upload a YouTube video, <laughs> I feel like my immediate response is just to not look at my notifications for an hour and go soak myself in a bubble bath because it helps me. Anytime I have a calculus test and I need to prepare for it, you will see me in the bathtub like an hour before I go study. And I usually don't read like they are in this drawing, but like I know some people do read in the bathtub maybe. I, I feel like people do. Do they? I've never read in the shower. The most I've done is shop the clothes in the shower because I'm a shopaholic. Actually not in the shower, I mean in the bath. I'm losing my mind. 
Okay, I think my freehand coloring was a good idea because now the sketch is pretty much done. Okay, do I like the clouds or do I like the tree? Uh, I don't know. So I think now I'm gonna clean up my sketch a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna finish up the sketch off camera because I'm running out of time to record. So I'll be right back. Okay, so now I have it all cleaned up, kind of. <laughs> I have all of the things that I wanna line, like drawn out right now though. So I think I'm at a point where I'm comfortable enough to go to the line art, but good Lord, I am nervous. I'm so scared I'm gonna mess this up. It's not even my best work, but like it's, ugh, it's going in my portfolio and I've been putting so much pressure on myself and no, I just, I just need to stop. I just need to stop caring. That's <laughs> really, that's all I need to do. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to line this guy. I'm not going to talk while I do the line art though, because then I feel like I wouldn't be able to focus as well. So... Yeah, just listen listen to some of the music I'm playing. Um Okay, so now I'm done with the line art and off camera I erased everything and I added this little border just so I would know exactly where to stop coloring and stuff. Honestly, not gonna lie, I just kind of wanted to use the tape and this seemed like a reasonable like reason to use it. <laughs> I am so excited to color, but at the same time I am incredibly nervous to color because I know that this is this is it. This is like the make or break of the entire thing. I went ahead and I did like some practice coloring right here, also off camera, which like it's only two things, but um, it kind of gives a better idea for what I want it to look like than that, you know? And I really like this like soft kind of feeling. I, I want to keep that. Um, I don't want to keep this though. Like it, this, this part looks bad. I don't think I'm gonna talk while I color this though, just because I want to focus and I know if I talk at the same time, it's just, I, I'm gonna be thinking about too many things. I'll probably do some voiceovers for it, but um, yeah, for the most part, it's probably gonna be some music now. So have fun with that. Also, if I sound very out of it right now, it's because I am, I have a headache and I just want this to be over with. So let's get it done. So hey, voiceover Joe here. As you can see, I am painstakingly drawing each square individually. And like, y'all, my hand hurts from doing that. Whenever I got near the end of working on the tiles, I had to give my hand a break for like every three or four tiles that I drew. And honestly, my wrist still hurts a little bit because of that. So that was great. I also sped up the footage for this section to like 15 times its original speed 
because I know y'all don't want to watch me draw 1500 squares for a full 15 minutes. It also just makes the footage look nicer. Like, oh my goodness, wow, look at how much faster I'm getting through this. Look at all the squares just like popping into existence. You know, it would be really nice if I could draw as fast as I am in this video. But alas, I don't have superpowers, and I am in fact a normal person. So I just gotta deal with tiny details taking 10 years to do. I'm also glad I made doing this project into a video because though it's taking me a lot more time and a lot more effort to like finish it, because like now I have to edit the video and I have to make the thumbnail and I have to do all these things. Doing it on camera kind of made me feel like double productive. Like, whoa, I'm doing schoolwork and making a YouTube video at once. I'm a genius. Look at me. Um, if you're watching this video and you're in AP art or you've taken the class already, do y'all have any like last minute tips about getting a high score or just like ways to ease my workload? Because, like I said, at the beginning of the school year, I was under the impression that this portfolio would have to, like, consist of 15 completely finished, polished pieces. And now I know that's not true, but I also don't really know what's acceptable for progress photos and, like, I don't know, just photo submissions in general. So if you've taken the class before or if you have some good advice, please, please let me know. So I'm going through a bit of a dilemma here. I cannot decide if I want to continue this onto the bathtub because on one hand, I want to because that's what was in my original drawing. Part of me thinks it might be too much tile if I add it right here, but I also don't want to not include it. I don't know, I'm struggling. I think I will, I'll just add it later so I don't have to worry about it right now. I think, I'm gonna color in some of the smaller things and some of the smaller details right now, and then I'll go back and yeah, I'll, I'll add it. Okay, hey, voiceover Joe, back at it again. I don't know if I've mentioned it specifically so far, but I love the color palette for this piece. I think the reason it turned out so nice so far and just like for the finished piece as a whole is because I tried to limit the amount of colored pencils that I used to a minimum of like, I don't know, I think it was 10 or 15, somewhere around that number. And I did that because that way I didn't have to overthink my color choices. And if I was having a color dilemma, I just had to look at the designated colors that I chose for the piece. I know a lot of artists color their art in a similar way, but it's been a hot minute since I've had to color anything without a reference. So I think this was some good practice for me. God, I am so glad I'm finally getting something out of AP art. I think this was also the first finished piece I've ever made with colored pencils, which is kind of surprising because they've been a primary art supply of mine for the past year or so, but only for doodling or quickly filling in blank space in my sketchbooks. Now that I've used them in a finished piece, I think I can officially say that I loved them. I liked using them a lot more than I thought I would. Maybe it was just because I barely had to mix any colors, but even when I did have to mix, like, it wasn't a chore. Maybe it was less the art supply and just more that everything in this drawing I felt went right, but oh, I just love them. Okay, I never make, like, a transition for when I'm gonna start working on this at school, so this is my transition. Um, this is where I'm at right now. And I think I'm gonna at least try to get the tile done at school, if nothing else. So if I come back and I have more of it finished, just just know I, I, I'm doing it at school, that's all. <laughs> so I'm back from school. Um, as you can tell, I did a lot more. And before y'all say anything, or actually you can say something, but either way, I know this tile is a lot smaller than this tile, and I don't care. I'm just gonna go with it. Part of me does wish that I had paid a little bit more attention, but another part of me just does not care at all, and I'm just gonna let that part take over me, because I, if I care too much about this, it's gonna drive me nuts, and I don't want it to drive me nuts. So I'm just gonna continue. I'm gonna move past this little error. Um, 
yeah yeah <laughs> so i'm gonna keep drawing now and i'm not gonna talk while i draw because i'm watching a youtube video and i'm really enjoying it so i'm gonna go back to that and here's some music and maybe a voiceover i also love the texture of colored pencils i feel like not having it look completely smooth might get on people's nerves but I just love when you can see the streaks and the specific marks that you make with them. And when you blend them together, sometimes it's not like perfectly blended and you still got that like little grain in there and just, oh, it just looks so nice. It has a little bit of charm to it. I just, I don't know. It's, I love it. Okay, my rambling is over. Um, for the rest of this, there's just gonna be some music. Um, I'll have this timestamp on screen right here that you can skip to if you just wanna skip and go to the final product. Um, so yeah, thank y'all for listening so far anyways. I think it's finally done. It, maybe it's not completely done, but this is this is enough. <laughs> this is all I want to record. So my thoughts about the final piece. There are definitely some things I could have done better. Could have made some wiser color choices. Like I don't really like what I did with the shower curtain here. I don't really like how I did the toilet. Like this whole side is just just just, just a part that I hate. I also don't like how I did the sky right here, but, you know, it's whatever. It's done now, it's over with, I don't have to think about it anymore. I love how I did the tile, I- that part was probably the funnest to make. I think just the colors I used for it just look- they look so nice. And I- I don't know, I just- I like it. I like it a lot. I started recording this video last Wednesday and it's currently Tuesday. Wait, did I start it last Wednesday? I don't know, but I know I started it March 22nd, and now it's March 28th. So, it's been almost a week. And I just realized I didn't shade this hand at all, so... Okay, now it's done. <laughs> if you're still watching, thank you so much. I really appreciate your support. Feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, maybe even subscribe if you would like. I think over the next month, the only art that I'm going to be making is going to be AP related, so expect a bunch of content about that because recording my process does like motivate me to keep doing it. But yeah, um, this is the final, final product. I guess I'll write the date that I finished it. 3-28-23. So, I guess that's about it for this video. Have a good weekend, have a good week, have a good whatever, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye bye